This is the closest we have been to a jaguar yet. This cat's definitely actively hunting. She's very slowly slinking through the water hyacinths and the taller grasses. It's a beautiful morning here in the Brazilian Pantanal. Today we're heading out on the Cuba River. This protected habitat is known for its high concentration of jaguars, one of the world's largest cat species. I'm gonna be working alongside Abby Martin. Now, Abby is the founder and president of the Jaguar ID Project. And over the past decade, she has been cataloging these incredible cats. She's not only giving them names and collecting their stats, but she's creating a genealogy family tree. To this point, she has documented over 300 of these beautiful felines. So with any luck, we are going to see some beautiful cats, get some epic shots, and learn all about the work that Abby's doing. These big cats are the true kings and queens of this Brazilian wilderness. And the moment you catch sight of one, their mystique captures you in a way that never lets go. This is the closest we have been to a jaguar yet. We've got two of them right down at the water drinking. Wow, beautiful. Probably never gets old seeing jaguars, does it? She's getting up. Over the past quarter century, the northern Pantanal specifically has become famous for its high concentration of jaguars. Not too many people know about this place. You know, it's one of the most biodiverse wetlands in the world, but like most people you tell that you're going to the Pantanal, they don't even know about it. But you know, everyone knows about the Amazon and it's the world's lungs, but the Pantanal is kind of like the heart, mm -hmm. it's like the beating heart. Mm -hmm. So it's super important to protect this area. And I think using the Jaguar, we can do that together. Once upon a time, cats in this area were heavily hunted for the fur trade. Many others were killed by farmers who saw them as a threat to livestock in what is commonly known as the jaguar cattle conflict. But the good news is that this population is currently flourishing. And now, people travel from all around the world to admire, film, and photograph these cats as local communities recognize that a living jaguar is far more valuable than a dead one. Amazing morning so far. This is our second jaguar sighting, and right now the lighting's really nice. We actually haven't really seen jaguars on the sandbank that often. That's a cool shot right there, coming right up to the water's edge. So the unique markings that I look for on Patricia is this L that kind of frames her eye there. And then on her left, right where, like about where her heart would be, there's almost a rosette pattern that looks like a heart. So what's super cool is Patricia is Abby's favorite cat. Patricia is the logo for the Jaguar ID project. So this is so cool that we are filming the cat that is literally the symbol of the Jaguar ID project on the day that we're out here filming with Abby. How crazy is that? That was awesome. That was the first time they've ever walked towards the camera. So we got head on shots. You press we're record, moving. right? Oh, oh no, yeah, we did. <laughs> To capture the best cinematography of Jaguars in action, Trent and Mario spent months building, testing, and ultimately rigging a camera and gimbal system that was designed specifically to the specs of this boat. These will be our beauty shots. Patricia is very slowly slinking through the water hyacinths and the taller grasses. Abby said she's in hunting mode, and the way you can tell is their shoulders become hunched and they stick closer to the ground, just like you might see your own cat doing as it stalks, you know, a little laser pointer in your family room. This is a much different scenario, though. This cat's looking for Cayman. Our boat driver's saying that she wants to cross the river. Uh, the boats have given her enough space now. Hopefully she's gonna make it all the way across. These cats are incredible swimmers. The Jaguar is the most aquatic, oriented big cat on the planet. The speed at which she can move across the river is, it's crazy. This cat is just zooming. 
The jaguars know these waters like the back of their paw. But as humans, to help us navigate the complex maze of rivers, we hired the top adventure outfitter, Biodiverse Brazil Tours, and their superstar boat captain. This cat's definitely actively hunting. She's entered the reeds now, which is, you know, where the caimans hide. So, we'll see what happens in the next few minutes. She's coming right into view. We find ourselves fixed right in the middle of a full-on jaguar hunt. That was an attempt right there, that was awesome. Jaguars are considered super apex predators. And aside from their grappling retractable claws, their primary weapons of choice are kept hidden within their skull. Robust and relatively short by design, it is densely packed with muscle, providing them one of the strongest bite forces of any cat species. But their teeth, those will send chills down your spine right before they snap it. Specifically designed for penetrating the thick hide and scales of prey items like caiman, just a single bite is powerful enough to crush the back of a skull or sever the spinal column, rendering their victim completely helpless. When it comes to being an effective killer, nothing in the mammalian kingdom is more lethal than a jaguar. Now one way that we're able to keep an eye on the cat without physically seeing her is just watching the movement of the grasses, which are much taller than she is, and also the flight of birds, because the birds are the first alarm sign that a cat is in the area. Okay, so the jaguars decided to forge the river. It is swimming from one embankment to the other. It's a very wide stretch. We're just giving her lots of space so we don't spook her. And she's gonna try to hunt this other shoreline where Hopefully there will be some better options for food. Close, my heart's racing. Oh. <laughs> Abby, how did she miss that one? Uh, you saw how she kind of like was trying to grab with her hands. Yeah. Sometimes they get a hold and then she get a hold with her mouth. And yeah. You start rolling in the water, but it's escaped again. Ah, oh, what a close call. So Abby, we're getting into another cat's territory, Estella's, who we saw last night. Will she hunt in Estella's territory? Yeah, yeah, she'll, she'll continue to hunt here. If Estella feels like she's gonna get too close to her kill, there could be a cat fight. Wait a second, Estella caught a caiman last night? <sighs> yes, she did. And wouldn't you know it, we just missed it. We had been watching her sleep for several hours, but chose to go downriver to film a couple drone shots since she didn't seem very active. 
Then all of a sudden, a call came over the radio waves and boats began rushing to the area where we left Estella. And as we arrived, the last thing we saw was her pulling a Cayman up the embankment and out of sight. Ugh, talk about frustrating. We missed a hunting behavior. We missed a Jaguar catching a Cayman. We, had, we, we had the opportunity for the shot. We had it. It's unfortunate, but it is what it is. We gotta move on and we'll find a way to get the shot and that's the nature of what it is. I imagine that these two have already encountered before, like their territories overlap. Um, but when food's involved, it's a different story, you know? So we'll see what happens. Well, we lost the cat. Patricia disappeared up over a hill and deeper into the jungle, and we have not seen her for about 20 minutes now. The good news is that all of the boats are gone. We are the only boat out here now, and we got the closest we have been to filming a jaguar catching a caiman. She literally had her paw on the front of the reptile, but unfortunately it thrashed, got away, and she remains hungry, just as we remain hungry for capturing this amazing shot. We are all so busy trying to fight for the life that we want, that most of us never take the time to slow down and appreciate the very moment we are living in. The Jaguar lives and dies by its daily moments. There are no opinions, no influences, no regrets for being anything other than exactly what they are, perfectly designed survival machines. Unfortunately, we never reconnected with Patricia, but two days after our departure from the Pontanal, our friend and wildlife photographer, Marlon DeToy, witnessed Patricia finally catching a caiman. Jaguars can sometimes go days without having a meal. It's all about being in the right place at the right time. And when it comes to filming a kill shot, the exact same philosophy applies. What an amazing experience, getting to explore the Brazilian Pantanal for seven straight days, filming its most celebrated apex predator, the Jaguar. Big thanks to Biodiverse Brazil Tours for getting us into the environment, and a big thanks to Abby Martin and the Jaguar ID Project for making us a part of their conservation research. I'm Coyote Peterson, be brave, stay wild. We'll see you on the next adventure. Abby is a light of hope in the world of conservation. Her story and undying commitment to the preservation of these jaguars goes beyond the physical realm and transcends into the spiritual domain. She truly is the mother of jaguars, and her work is worthy of a standing ovation. If you want to learn more, or would consider donating to the continued protection and monitoring of this jaguar population, make sure to visit the Jaguar ID Project. And if you want to embark upon a grand adventure of your own, Biodiverse Brazil Tours will gladly get you into the realm of these iconic cats. Guys, I'm super excited to announce that we just dropped some special edition Jaguar merch. There's two super cool shirts and a Brazil-themed bandana, some of which I've autographed. If you're interested and want to grab yours, they're available now at shopbravewilderness.com.